Hi, I'm Alan. We all know WebRTC has better security than most VoIP and video systems today, but how secure is it really? This is the topic of our TAD hack. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm placing a call using our WebRTC application to Mahak. Hi, I'm Mahak. Hope you like our retro user interface. We had fun putting it together for this hackathon. I see the padlock on my browser since the HTML and signaling are running over TLS with a verified certificate. The media is, of course, encrypted with SRTP, and keying for the media uses DTLS. Everything looks good. So, is this call really secure? As you can see, when I share my browser screen, this apparently secure call has fallen victim to a so-called man-in-the-middle attack by me Sorry, Dan and Mac. A normal WebRTC peer connection will go directly between the two browsers, but I have compromised the signaling server to cause their signaling messages to be erected to my browser. When Dan called Mahek, he actually called me, then I called Mahek. The result is two peer connections, but they don't know. A WebRTC man-in-the-middle attack. The result is that our media is not is encrypted end-to-end, -end, but instead it is encrypted to the man-in-the-middle attacker who can listen in or record all of our media. Now, media security is provided by DTLS, and the DTLS handshake is authenticated using the signaling channel. If the signaling channel is compromised, then all the media is compromised, and DTLS won't be able to detect the man-in-the-middle attack. But wait! Mahek and I are now going to run CRTP, implemented in JavaScript, over the WebRTC data channel. Ha! As you can see, the man in the middle is immediately detected. Sorry, Alan! Yes! ZRTP was invented by Phil Zimmerman of PGP email encryption fame to provide protection against exactly these kind of man-in-the-middle attacks on VoIP and video calls. It was published as an IETF RFC a few years back. Now, you might ask, what if the man-in-the-middle attacker also launches a man-in-the-middle attack on the ZRTP exchange itself? Hmm, I'm going to try that next. Okay, Mahek, this time let's use a key of hack, H-A-C-K. Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, then go ahead and enter that key and press enter. I, I did. Oh, two. Okay, and now I'm calling you. Excellent, and verifying the connection. Uh, my short authentication string is Seabird Inferno. Mine is Janky Caretaker. Oh, that's different. That's, that's different. Okay. All right, and ZRTP has detected a man in the middle again. Yes. All right. ZRTP has built-in protection against this attack by performing Diffie-Hillman and calculating a short authentication string. The SAS is displayed to both users and compared. If they don't match, as you just saw, the users know there is a man-in-the-middle attacker present. Okay, now I give up. I'm not even going to bother to attack this next call. Yes. Done. Okay, and calling you. Okay, um, I have endorsed Dinosaur. How about you? Cool, I have endorsed Dinosaur as well. All right, so yes for that. Connection is verified. In summary, using the ZRTP protocol over the WebRTC data channel provides man-in-the-middle protection that WebRTC alone lacks. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed our TAD hack.